G'day and welcome back to the channel today. I'm going to give you a bit of a review on the old F1 truck, what I've done to it. A couple of changes since you've seen it last. Um, I need to run up to Repco to get some supplies. So we'll take this up and um, yeah, when we get back, I'll give you a run over the machine, show you what's uh, changed and what I've done. This you crazy mother... So Repco didn't have what I want and I was going to jack it up and do some work on it and things like that and I'm just like, you know what, I couldn't be bothered. So I thought I'd just make a quick video on where she's at, what we've done. And um, the first big thing is the tray. My mate came good with the tray and uh, it's come up awesome. It's been on there for a while now. Gum leaves from gum trees everywhere and my bed is looking less and less like a Bunnings Merbau deck. I'm super happy with the way that come up and it just changes the whole look of the truck. It just looks really good. One thing I have done a lot of is change wheels and tires. Um, it's taken me ages to get it right. I had that um, head shake problem before, worked out what that was. It was the caster, it was set up for radials and this thing has, it had conventionals on at the time. It was why it was shaking so much. Um, I ended up changing the caster, put, Left the conventionals on it i still wasn't happy with it it's just it's an old truck and you know what make it safe put radials on it so to and from to and from to and from cutting a long story short finally settled on these let's cut to a what do you call it montage janet play the montage these work um, the back wheels nice big dish on them and um, big tires what size are they again uh, let's have a look 31 10s and it brings the ratio just right for the gearbox without an overdrive it's just awesome it just it's perfect another thing I did was get out my brushes and start a little bit of pinstriping which I hadn't done for ages and um, just a little play here and there and I just think it tidies the, the front of the truck up there and you might have noticed on my door, both doors, I've upgraded my um, truck logo. So that's the original one, I left that on there. That's the genuine Yeovil Sawmill truck logo. 
old bait would have done that back in the day and then old Paulie G here's gone and gone hard and um, added a telephone number that come up all right looks good suits a truck I reckon and of course on the inside when it's not raining it's dry in here which is fantastic the old rubbers aren't the best I need to do them then I'll be able to clean the dash up and make it nice because that just gets dirty all the time just stuff comes through but you'll notice I've got a different gauge set in there my mate who does all my laser cutting for me cut me up um, a fascia there for my cluster and I put a GPS speedo in it just to get it accurate um, temp gauge and volt gauge I actually have another one that's painted silver um, but he made me up a stainless one and I'm going to change it over eventually one time but apart from that nothing's really changed there's my Repco catalogue I ordered something they didn't have it in stock so I'll see that next week and um, it's going to be pretty cool and I'll do a review on it when I get it because I need this tool nothing's changed under the bonnet reliable old Sally there she's just doing a thing I did a coolant change the other day gave it a flush um, just freshen that up but like all of it I haven't touched it I don't know how the oil is I think I checked it the other day let's have a look full what's it taste like mm. so yeah there's the big truck little update it's going good I do need to get down into the shed and do some work on it um, I need to change my caster back which I was going to do today I need to do some rusty re repairs on bits and pieces that need to be done I was going to do that today but I'm not going to I'm going to have some cold snacks I'm going to edit this video put it up and watch a bit of YouTube because that's just what I feel like doing today I've had a big week so anyway that's it from me stay tuned if you're good to your mates like subscribe all that stuff and I will see you on the next one cheers